When I was living on the East Coast, I went into a flooring store and the guy kept staring at me in a really weird way. And finally, when I got to the counter to order the wood that I wanted for the floor, he said, you're that rock history dude. That hardly ever happens. It might have happened 10 times in my life. I'm always caught off guard by it. But imagine if you're Justin Hayward of the Moody Blues. After talking to him, I realized that, well, first of all, celebrity is not that important to him and he doesn't really get recognized. But sometimes people think they recognize him. This is one of the funniest stories I've ever heard from a rock star talking about someone thinking they know him, this time on a plane. Did you do the cruise yet? Yeah, yes, and I did one this year and I did one last year, I think, as well, yeah. How did it go? Yeah. How Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Everybody's there for the same reason, respectful, really nice. Yeah. Do yeah. people hound you? Do people like, uh, do they follow you around? How does that work? Do they keep their, like when you're not performing, what's the protocol for stuff like that? Um, well, like I say, everybody's there for the same reason, really. They're there for the music. No, people are respectful and people are, uh, uh, everybody's, uh, people are very nice and that they, they know the score. If you were, if, if you appear and you, that's, that's different, you know. It's fair enough if you're walking through, if you're walking through the ship or something, and then, like I say, they're all for the same reason. Nobody ever knows who I am man, in real life, you know. If they, even if they hear my voice, it's like, oh, it's some Moody Blues guy, kind of thing. But I'm not exactly a celebrity, you know. But um, I no, think that, you're being, that, I think you're being very modest. <laughs> No, no, I'm not, man. I'm if not. I saw you on the street, I would recognize you. Right? No, you wouldn't. I'm... But um, no, I, I was on an airplane once, and the guy sitting next to me, he said, um, he said, uh, it, it, we were like, I was coming from from LA to New York, and it, and uh, I could feel it coming on, and and he's because he, he'd been looking at me sideways, you know, and I was into my book, and and he said, uh, he turned to me, he said, excuse me, he said. I know you, don't I? We've met. And uh, so I looked and I said, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. He said, yeah. He said, yeah, we've met somewhere, you know. Uh, and so I said, well, I don't know. I said, I, I, what, what do you do? And he was like, well, I, I'm in plastics or something. You know, I said, well, I don't think so. And so uh, we let that pass a little bit touchy, but we let that pass. And then another t 10 minutes later, he came at it again. And uh, he said, you know, I know, man, you know, help me out. We've been, you know, we've been, um, I know you, you know. And uh, I said, no, I really, I really don't think so. You know, I'm, I'm not that great on names, but I'm pretty good on faces and places. And then... Um, so I could feel it the third time coming. So he, he, he said, help me out, man. You know, like, I, I, I know, we've met. We've met, you know. And I said, OK, right. You might have seen me. I'm in a group called The Movie Blues. I'm on um, public television every Friday night. Just happens to be, you know, right now. And uh, th that's, that's where you may have seen me. And he said, no, it's not that. What? <laughs> I can't, I can't flip it off you then. How did your family and friends react? You know, you're just a guy, but you've got this really cool job and you're really good at, at, at your job. But how, what did your parents say? What did your, do you have siblings? What uh, friends, what did they, when you started becoming that guy, how did they react? Oh, that's, a, that's a thing, isn't it? What, what a question. Um, I don't know. Uh, did anybody treat you differently? Did anybody treat me differently? No, I don't think. Uh, uh, I, I don't know, to be quite honest. You know, I, I, I mean, in, in the early days, I was lucky enough to get a job playing guitar for a rock and roll singer not long after I left school. I worked in an office for a couple of months, but I answered lots of ads. Th now, we're talking about this ghost of the person, the ghost that I've been contemplating, right? You're asking me about him. See, you, you're asking me. And... Um, but, uh, you know, when I joined the Moody's, it was with some kind of purpose to get my songs done. I think that was the most important thing for me then, 
trying to get my songs uh, performed. And um, I didn't even think that I was actually going to sing them somehow. Uh, but I, like I say, the, before the Moody's, I was in London from sort of 64 onwards, 63. And um, the Moody's, I think, in our early years, we were just trying to get the petrol money and uh, pay the rent, you, you know. So I, 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 and we, we moved into, it's not that people treated us different, but we just moved in a different circle. We, we were in London, part of that, um, uh, that, that, that whole movement that was going on in London in the sixties. And um, I don't think we ever revisited our past or like, Hey, what do you think of me now? I don't think anybody ever did that really. It was, we were all happy to just move on. Man, that was what we were happiest. We'll have more from Justin Hayward in the next few days. There'll be links to his tour in the description of this video. If you want to help out the channel, there are links to our Patreon where you'll get early access to all our interviews and also all our long form interviews and those outtakes on there and exclusive material that will never see the light of day unless you're a Patreon member. If you want to donate to the channel, there are links in the description as well. And now we have put a lot of work into our Instagram account. There'll be a link to it in the description at the very top. Also to our Facebook account for Rocky Street Music and Rocky Street Book. You can follow us on Twitter. But if you like what you see and hear, like our videos, share our videos, and of course, subscribe to the channel. And we're waiting for your comments as well. I'm John Bowden, more from Justin Hayward in the next few days. This is Rock History Music.